KTSA News Times 1008. Good morning. We kick off the weekend right now with our 90 minute gang of four. We're going to take a look at the big stories of the day and the week with the gang. Let's meet them right now from Fox San Antonio. He is the uh, Clicks on Fox movie previewer. JT Street. Hey, oh man, you guys came and he to brought, a little, he brought the a breakfast. little early there. Get a look yeah, at this. I wasn't through with my tacos yet. See, uh, his motto is get on the tacos, yeah. not get off the tacos. <laughs> well, everyone goes, whose side are you on? Are you on the pageant side? Are you on, you know, Dominique's side? I'm on the side of the tacos. I feel yeah. the tacos. They got a bad really rap been, in all yeah, this. Yeah, they've really been uh, run through the muck yeah. on this. So I mean, they didn't I, jump into her mouth by themselves. I am a strong defender <laughs> of tacos, and I'm willing to make that stand here today. Look at you. Yeah. Except for the fact that they're Bill Miller. <laughs> yeah, <was> hey, <laughs> it's in a brown bag. It's wrapped in aluminum foil. It. It's, it's got right. tortillas. It's got it's eggs. JT's it's got idea of ethnic food. Exactly. <laughs> He's never heard of taco cabana. Or, really uh, wandering no out into the, on into the third world there. Uh, um, so what's new with you? How are you doing? Uh, a lot, actually. It's it's been a really cool couple of months. Uh, I I just found out that the station is going to be doing something new in April. We're starting a new segment. Uh, Preview review is on hiatus right now, and uh, we're going to be moving into something totally different. It's going to be really cool and innovative. We're going. Uh, more multimedia. It's going to be something where I get to go out and, and take viewer suggestions and do stories, packages based on that. So cool. it's uh, we're going to drop it in, in mid-April. There are going to be some hints on the interwebs. So you know, follow me on Facebook and Twitter to find out a little bit more before right. it hits. But it should be uh, the next couple of months, and it's going to be really exciting and fun. Keep so. us posted about that. You've come a long way from doing the news on Into the Night, I have to say. <laughs> it's good to have you back on Gang of Four. Yeah. Albert Flores is here. He's got good his morning. own media company, I Diverse do. Media. Thank you. And I know you're very busy. You got all, you're always taking meetings. and. Uh... My, my last meeting today is at 6 p.m. My first one was at 8 a.m. Look at you. You know, We're lucky so, to even be on your schedule. Uh, no, I love doing this. Are you kidding me? I'm I'm an old radio. Do you miss guy. being on television? A little bit. I like I think uh, the result of it, meaning being able to do some good, helping some folks out, uh, just getting on the air. And uh, you know, I I love when people call and say, "Man, I'm so glad I listened to you because I pulled the plants in, yeah. or yeah. I, I ducked out of the trailer before the t the storm hit." Or uh, I didn't get into that little water crossing, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I yeah. missed that. Sure, oh, that, must, that must be very gratifying. We, it is. You know, Jay, we didn't really get that when we were in radio. You know, thank, you really by playing that REO Speedwagon record, you really helped me. Thank you, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Jay Tope is here, the founder of uh, SASports.com, and uh, you got yourself a new uh, a new ride. Exactly, brand new tour stop vehicle. As a matter of fact, tonight uh, our first uh, tour stop uh, with the new vehicle. We're going to La Prior, Texas. Which is out there by Eagle Pass, yes. uh, La Prior, home of uh, Ricardo Castellon, the right. singer of La Diferencia. Um, we're doing a softball game out there, La Prior. It's a district championship between La Prior and Charlotte, so we're gonna have a fun time. What do you do with these uh, tour stops? We do the announcing and music for the games, you know, okay. so so we make it like a missions game, mm -hmm. um, and we also give give away prizes. We do wow. all sorts of stuff. It's 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 been a lot of fun and. Uh, I go into the studio next week to start work on my new CD. I'm actually getting back into the singing and uh, and music portion. I saw that on your Facebook. Now, what stop? Don't start singing now. But no, what, that's what, you're, yeah. what style of singing? What do you do? It's it's a pop rock style. It's a very uh, Beatles in excess type. Uh, you know, I, I'm Beatles I'm in excess. Well, you know, no, no, in excess the group, the oh, 80s band. Right. You know? No, I know, but I, I didn't. Except I would, I'm not going to go I Michael put in excess and the Beatles together. Well, that's that's that. You but do. you can. Yes, you, you can. can. You, right. you, you can you can mix uh, 80s influences, even uh, even a few grunge influences, uh, Stone Temple Pilots thrown in there, and and some soft rock. You can you can do it all. And where will you uh, will you be performing? Uh, in I'll, I'll I'll be d uh, doing a, a mainly unplugged things until until the album's released. Uh, matter of fact, I, I believe uh, the end of April we've got a couple of gigs uh, lined up. So when that comes out, you got to come out here and, and preview it or premiere it for us. Oh, I, I would love that. to. This will be the first place. We'll I turn the lights down yeah. low. <laughs> we'll give you your own mic, and people will say stop. And we'll all go. Stop. We'll all go down Taylor. the hall. All right. Stop. I didn't know. I didn't even know you sang. You've always done this. Yeah, I I, I put out a, a well at that time a record album back in '86, '87 in Tucson, Arizona. Had no two, kidding. Had two hits hit the you know the top nine at nine on the local radio station in Tucson. Wow. So. He had a flock of eagles look back then. Yeah, I'll bet. I'll bet there's some hair pictures of you. <laughs> All right. So we have the tacos. 
We have three San Antonio guys. Yeah. Did the jury get it right for Dominique? I, I would say yes. For me, yes. Um, you know, I, I, of course, I wasn't in court to listen to all the testimony, but uh, you know, rumors I get from people who've been around her and, and said, you know, she was timely, nice lady. Um, I don't know. You know, I hate to see people get yanked out of an office no matter what. So, yeah. you know, she stood strong and, and did it. So kudos to her. Would you hire her? Yes, I would. Are you offering her a job right now? Uh, if she wants to do sales, sure. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> it's Getting all about results sales. right here on KTSA. <laughs> um, at this point, it would be less, uh, would you hire her and can you hire yeah, her really, if you get can in find line. time in your Good Morning okay. America <laughs> schedule and all the other media that she's doing today. Right. Look what happened here, though, JT. The, uh, the pageant people came out and said, let us tell you, this girl's a nightmare. Late unreliable, disrespectful, dirty sash. Then she comes out. <laughs> That's a great band name. Yeah, dirty, dirty Sash. Sashes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it's going to be Jay's album title. I like that, Jay. <laughs> and then, you know, the problem with all that is she didn't live up to it. She's right. nice. She's right. well-spoken, humble, admits she made some mistakes. Uh, her lawyer positions are just right. Mm, very, People have been good. referencing yeah. some of the public gestures. Uh, and and the and the pageant people on the other hand, the closer you look, the uglier that gets. Right. So it you know they just they never quite made their point about her. I was amazed at, at you know how quickly a 17 year old could could get this command of perception, and yet an organization that has been watching perception and has been dedicated to putting their best face forward, yeah. clueless, didn't. Yeah. At, at least not as well as she did. I mean, if you look at the at the at her appearances, you know, once she won the court case, she went and and placed her her crown on on you know a religious statue's head and and, and dedicated the crown to her. Yeah. And you know, I, I mean, the pageantry of the trial, uh, clearly, you know, and, yeah. and the jury saw in her favor, and and that was the pageant queen. To me, Jay, it was the pictures, the, the supposedly damning swimsuit pictures. I mean, once the average person sees that and, and understands that this is supposed to be incriminating, I think they lost public opinion and the jury right there. Yeah, and, and you know, I was very close to this trial, obviously. I was called as a, as a witness. Um, and and I, knowing Dominique since even before she was the queen, because she was a volleyball player at O'Connor, that's where I knew her. I used to announce her games over there right. at O'Connor. So she was an athlete, okay? So I, I, I knew that much about her. Right. When she became uh, the youngest uh, San Antonio queen ever, you know, that's when we had a chance to put her on our uh, segment of Great Day SA uh, for SA Sports. And so, you know, doing a couple events with her where not only was she on time, but she was early, and she was, she was just, she, she acted, she didn't act like she was 17 years old. She was very mature and she was very professional. And to see, to see her, you know, dragged through the mud, which she was, uh, by, by the Bear County organization, it was, it was, it was pretty sad. And, and it was funny listening to some of the phone calls. Uh, the one guy said, oh man, his, you know, her attorney was so crafty, Louis Venna. You know, you know, puts that donut in her hands. He had nothing to do with that. I was there when it happened. That was her grandma, who's, oh. who's and she, and her grandma's got a great sense of humor. And she says, you know, during a during a period where we were sitting outside waiting to get a, a court assignment, right. and there were a lot of there were a lot of media cameras there, but they were all just kind of sitting down bored. He says, she says, hey. Well, Watch how fast these media cameras get up if you eat a donut. And so she gave her donut, well, and they did. Albert, hire the grandmother. There you go. <laughs> she and, and and it was just it was hilarious. Once she started eating the donut, hey, she's got a donut, and and yeah. and, and it was great. We're all uh, set. Well, I, I will say though that I think she and the lawyer both uh, they did everything right in, in terms of public perception and managing it. And all she really had to do was not be this monster that the right. pageant people had and, described and, her to be. Right, and and, and she wasn't, and the more you found out about the Bear County organization, uh, oh, the, less the less credibility they had. So she, you know, she, I think she did a great job. As a matter of fact, uh, we're going to do an interview with Dominique in our next magazine, so maybe we might be able to sell some ads in this next magazine if we've got Miss San Antonio in it. Well, now, the other thing, you work with young people. And, All the time. Um, you know, I think you will agree, uh, she's healthy. We don't want them at that age 
to be starving themselves and, and trying to get down to size one or whatever. I mean, that's crazy. It's, it's, it, it is, uh, you know, that was my whole reason for getting involved in, in this was because I said, you know, it, this is not right. You're sending the wrong message to these kids uh, when you're saying that a size two is not good enough. Uh, just, just a very bad message. And what must it, what must it feel like to be a, a, a let's say, a teenage girl or even a teenage boy in San Antonio who is overweight, mm -hmm. and they see this story, and they hear that they hear these adults, you know, saying these things about her, get off the tacos, and then they see her picture and they think, man, I, in my dreams, would I look like right. that? Exactly. I, I'm never getting to that way. And it flies in the face of about 15 years of, of nonstop pressure from health organizations, mental health organizations, you know, people saying, be okay, just be healthy. You don't have to be a real. I mean, if you look at anorexia, bulimia, these, these horrible issues that have been going on because of our preoccupation with beauty and thinness and what that definition is, this flies in the face of, of all of that. And to do that, you know, San Antonio, we definitely have problems with diabetes, we have problems with overweight, but to, to put her in that position and to, to say that to her, when you see those photos, it, you're right, right. It's, it's a really, really tough line for them to walk, and they had to walk it in court, no less. Right. I mean, I, I just, I don't know, I said this a few minutes ago, I, I can't even imagine, now that I've seen this, uh, or we've, we've opened up this uh, world of uh, pageants, mm -hmm. yeah. I can't even imagine letting my son or daughter be anywhere near any of that. I have judged for pageants. You yeah, know, I, I was too. a TV guy. Yeah. You know, we, you get asked to judge everything. Is it, and it's hard to do, you, isn't it? Because you really don't want to say no to any of these kids. Well, I got walked out of an auditorium in a small town who will go, you know, unmentioned, because the local favorite did not win. And all the parents came up and ripped the certificates in front of all the judges oh, and threw yeah. stuff at us. And we were escorted to our cars nice. to get out of town, literally. Nice. So I've been there. I know. You know. I, I've never had that happen, but I, I did judge one where I it was just very uncomfortable because you had to walk through the crowd yeah, afterwards, right? And you knew the crowd was made up almost exclusively of yep. people that were related to one right. or more of the losers. Exactly. No, and that happened so. one time. Same, basically the same thing. I was at South Park Mall for you know for a judging thing, and I mean. That, that actually, what they did before they made the announcement, they went they over to us. They let the judges leave. Yes, they said, "You guys, you guys need to leave because this is going to get really ugly." For you. <laughs> Five minute head start. You have a police escort out of town. <laughs> you know, Jay, if you ever do that, don't drive that truck because you, <laughs> you can see that thing from satellite. <laughs> I don't want to say it's bright. I just say like uh, like the eclipse. You shouldn't look directly at it. There you go. Probably no. uh, indirectly yeah. look at Jay's new truck. All right, we have a lot more coming up with our gang. It's Jay Tope and Albert Flores and JT Street. You're voting in the JR poll at five nine nine fifty five fifty five, and Karen Klaus is in the newsroom.